Hey, beautiful people. Good morning. Well, it's morning where I am now. I'm not sure if it's going to be morning when you're watching this, but good morning anyways. I don't know why I thought this would be a better idea to come outside with all this road noise. But I wanted to come out and actually uh, use these nice, well, let's get a better shot here. The nice comfy chairs that uh, I talked about as I walked through Walmart. Remember that? So now that we're, you know, officially living the RV life and, uh, you know, that, that our house is gone, this in the RV, uh, we figured we'd spend more time outdoors, right? Why not? That's the whole point of having a recreational vehicle is to be able to travel and spend more time outside. So we say, hey, we can go to Walmart and find us some really um, nice kind of comfortable chairs to sit on when we're outside. Except they got slim pickings. There's nothing really nice. So check out um, Amazon. Amazon has a nice kind of reclining chair really comfortable looking i said them before they actually are very comfortable so i think i'm just going to order one from amazon and call it a day hopefully it has prime and i can just get it today or tomorrow from one of the nearest pickup locations near my rv and uh we'll be good to go because this is the second walmart i've been to looking for a nice comfortable camping chair that I can use in the patio, and I cannot find it. At least not the one I'm looking for. They got a couple of them, but they don't look very comfortable. So, before we um, before we started this journey, well, actually, we're kind of in the middle of packing up, moving the house, and you know, doing all types of stuff with the house, and getting the RV ready, and etc., etc., etc. I had an idea, I said, look, before we even uh, set foot into the RV, how about we kind of uh, make some, some questions, kind of going over uh, what the expectation would be to live full-time in an RV. And we were supposed to go through these questions and answer these questions together as a family before we move into the RV. But as you can see, we in the RV and haven't answered these questions yet. So I'm gonna answer them now and I'm gonna to try to try to make it seem as though try to pretend like I have not yet lived in the RV. We've only been here mm, two, maybe three weeks. Um, so it's not like the RV life is really set in. Uh, we're still at the beginning of the journey. Question number one. What was your initial reaction to the idea of living the RV life? I was down for it. <laughs> I actually, um, you know, we kind of talked about moving before, but we never really talked about living in an RV. I don't know what sparked the idea in me, what got me going, but I came home from work one day and I was like, hey, like, you know, let's just sell the house and go live in an RV. That way we can travel. And I said it kind of jokingly. For some reason, Melissa was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Right now. <laughs> now, she wanted to move anyway. She had been put, pushing to move years ago. We stopped. I st we started packing, and then I was like, nah, nah, nah. I'm not ready to move yet. I like being close to the beach. But now, um, with the RV, I can, I can actually travel around and see if there is a better spot something that I would enjoy more. So I was all for it, this reaction. Why did you decide 
to live the RV life. Now, just what I said, I get to travel around, see new sites, and we could find that the next place we actually want to live for the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, however many years, um, we really get to weigh our options and when it's time to settle and be done with the RV life, we can settle. Or maybe we are never going to be done with the RV life, but we just buy a piece of land that we can park the RV on when we're not actually out traveling. So yeah, that's why I decided to do the RV life. I want to be able to explore this country. What do you think your overall experience would be while living the RV life? So my initial thoughts on that, this is gonna be easy, this is gonna be cheap, we're gonna have so much fun, we're gonna spend so much time just hanging out with each other, lounging around, going and seeing different places, um, experiencing new things you know I've never been you know rock climbing or mountain climbing I never really did a, a true hike you know going up a mountain to any elevation white water rafting um, I'm not sure what else just experiences I want to go out there and do um, Maybe one of those would include skydiving. I do want to do that. And I can actually do that here before we leave. I'm not sure if I got the nerve up yet to do that. But maybe one day. Maybe I'll take that risk after I've done the travel. Hang on. More road noise. We got like the noisiest side of this RV park. Anywho. I uh, forgot where I was at with my question, so I'm just gonna find some next one. Why not? Screw it! <laughs> All right, close your eyes and describe the image you see when you think about RV living. Hmm. Doing what I'm doing right now. Out in the patio, relaxing. Uh, minus the road noise but just relaxing outside, enjoying, experiencing, um, becoming one with nature. Um, She's disturbing my one with nature. I guess that's not really gonna work out for me, is it? How do you think it will be living the RV life with the three people in close proximity? I think that me and Melissa would do just fine with each other. Add in the 12 year old who just said it's too early for this. When you add in all that young pubescent energy and sass that comes along with it, I think we are going to have a very, very, very interesting time living with each other in such close, close, close proximity. Patience will be tested. They will be tested. And if I'm gonna be uh, completely honest here. I know that this is supposed to be something before we actually moved in, but I'm gonna fast forward to reality to today. Patients have already been tested. 
All right, let's be live. Going back to before the RV. How do you think it would be living with six pets? Okay, so I'm gonna try to separate what has happened from what I thought it was gonna be like. So what I thought it was gonna be like was, um, we all just hang around the campfire singing Kumbaya. The pets would all cooperate, they wouldn't come in and they would not tear up furniture. They would not, uh, they probably would, you know, mark their territory and urinate inside of the RV once or twice. And, um, but they would listen and we'd be able to love on them and enjoy them and go take them places, take them new places as well. New, new dog parks, you know, be able to come outside and, and play fetch and just teach some different things, more bonding with the pets and yeah. So that's what I thought it would be like. If you wanna know what it's actually like, if you really, really wanna know, you're gonna have to catch the next video. Because I will be doing a one week video and I will be doing a 30 day video and I will be doing a three month video and I will do a six month video and a one year video of the RV life. Answering these same questions, but at that time it would be in the present. Not in the past as I'm trying to explain to you now. So you guys will get the scoop, the lowdown on what it actually is like. Do you think it will be easy or difficult to travel from place to place with three people and six pets? The traveling nine. I think it's gonna be very, very interesting. We haven't actually traveled anywhere besides, you know, moving into the RV. Um, and it wasn't done all at one time, but we will all be, all nine of us will be in one pickup truck. Unless I have research this, I'm not sure if we can do this yet. Unless we can leave the generator running while we are traveling then we can put some pets in the RV and not in the truck with us. I don't know if that's a good thing to do, bad thing to do. I gotta research it, but we'll see. We'll see. Other than that, we're all gonna be looking at each other in close quarters in the pickup truck. Uh, I feel like I feel like I should pause and take a break. Melissa's looking at me kind of funny. Let's see what she needs. Babe, you need something? Nope, I'm just seeing how he's doing. He didn't pull one time. Ah, 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 leave it. Nope, nope, leave it. Good boy. That's in peace. Y'all see that? Y'all hear that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Almost done. A couple more questions. Do you think the RV life is going to be cheaper or more expensive to live? I already answered this one earlier, if you were paying attention, but I'm gonna answer it again because you probably missed it. I figured it would be, or it's going to be, going back to the present, I mean to the past, it's gonna be, Cheaper, at least cheaper than living, than the living where we were living, where the mortgage was, you know, thousand, eleven hundred dollars a month. You have two car payments we're paying on. We're going to trade those in. We had the two car payments we're paying on nine hundred thousand dollars a month for those two, plus the insurance on the both of them, plus the light, the water, the cable, the the, 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 it was a big house. It was a 1,900 square foot house. You know, a lot of upkeep had to be done on it. So I think it's gonna be cheaper to, for the upkeep on the RV. 
than it is for the house. It's gonna be cheaper monthly. You know, we plan on doing, we plan on doing a slow crawl. We're not gonna rush through the country. We're gonna do a nice slow crawl and um, we're gonna take our time, do weekly, monthly stays at these RV parks and we'll use the motorcycles to travel around the state a little more, at least a couple hours away. And that should be cheaper. Before you sit on that, I will warn you, it is damp. It is damp from the morning dew. Now, it's not anything crazy. I'm not upset that I sat in it, but I just want to make sure you know that it is damp. Okay, last question on my list. What state, city, area are you most excited about visiting? Hmm. So, I got to go to the West Coast. I'm ready to get it. I mean, I'm excited for Texas too, which is more Midwest. But I got to get to the West Coast. California, uh, Hawaii, Nevada, Arizona. I want to see the desert, the Grand Canyon. I want to I wanna get over there and see the the beaches on the west coast i definitely want to go to hawaii i've been talking about hawaii since you know i learned about hawaii so i definitely uh am excited about getting over on the west coast and doing some exploring but i also want to go up and see like some of the the midwest northern midwest states like colorado wyoming you know some of the colder ones um not that i want to visit when it's snowing cold as crap but I do want to go see some of that nice countryside so I got quite a few areas and um, yeah that is it for me if you have any questions that you see I missed or that you want me to answer do me a favor drop a comment post it let me know what you're thinking, what your question is, and I will answer it. Um, I sh will answer it right there in the comments. And if I get enough questions, I'll do a take two, and we'll answer some more questions from our viewers about the RV life. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but you will get a video with the same questions being answered from Melissa. Morning. Morning. And you'll get another one from Chloe. Mm. Maybe I spliced it all up and put them all together. Maybe we'll do them separate videos. I'm about to get slapped. Oh, I just got slapped. You had a mosquito on the she, side of your head. She said it's a mosquito on the side of her head, but what she really was saying was, don't be putting me on camera this early in the morning. I don't want to be seen this early in the morning. Well, guess what? <laughs> Next time I just let you get fit then. <laughs> hmm. I put it on camera anyways, because I am bold. That's what I do. Anywho, next time. <laughs>